Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're going to do a little bit of a cheater recipe. We're gonna make an eggnog rice pudding using leftover rice. So I've got some, some leftover rice here. Um, it was either make this pudding or fried rice and I kind of felt like the pudding today. So put the rice into the pot, already cooked. Doesn't really matter what kind of rice you're using. Now we need a cup and a half of eggnog That goes into the pot. And then we need about the same again in milk. Um, and higher fat milk is better than low fat milk. The cheat here is that the eggnog already has eggs and cream in it. And we're gonna play on that egg mixture, not only for flavor, but those eggs will help thicken the pudding. So I'll just give that a stir. Now in goes some sugar. And depending on how sweet your eggnog is, um, you can play with the amount of sugar. You may not need as much. Stir that in. Now we've got this on sort of a medium high. I want to bring this up to a boil. And while the temperature is coming up, I'm going to add just a touch of vanilla extract and grate in some nutmeg. Now there's one last possible ingredient, and that is either rum or whiskey. Depending on your personal taste, you could use either one. I'd like to put whiskey in this, but I know that the eggnog I have already had rum in it. So I'm gonna add just a touch more rum. Not much, just enough to give a little bit extra flavor. Now for the people out there who are saying, I don't want to put rum in it because I can't give that to my children. That's fine, you can leave the rum out. But I'm going to tell you that there was actually more alcohol in the vanilla extract that I put in here than there was in the rum that I put in. So judge yourself accordingly. We're just going to give this a stir. We're going to bring this up to a boil and then we're going to turn it down to a simmer. And we're going to let this simmer until almost all of the liquid evaporates and it thickens up into a nice fine pudding. So now I'm gonna portion it out, and you don't have to. I mean, you could put this all in one casserole dish, stick it in the fridge, chill it down, and serve it by scooping it from the casserole dish. Or you could put it in ramekins, and you can choose the size of ramekins that you want, so each dinner guest gets their own. So, um, without spilling too much and making too much of a mess, let's see if we can do this. Conventional food television wisdom, the gospel according to Martha, tells us that we need to take plastic wrap, wrap these individually, and press the plastic wrap right up against the rice pudding so that it doesn't form a skin as it cools down in the fridge. Um, I'm on team skin. I kind of like the skin that forms at the top of the pudding, so I don't do that. But if you want to do that, go right ahead. You take the plastic wrap and you push it right up against it, now we stick these in the fridge for an hour or two to chill and firm up before we serve them. Hey Jules. Hey Glenn. So. Hey friends. What'd you make today? Um, eggnog rice pudding. Oh, well that makes sense. I left yours on the counter so it's warm. Julie oh, likes her you. rice pudding warm. I, I like my rice pudding cold. I do, I like all my custards warm. Um, so as much as I said put it in the fridge, you could leave it out, you could serve it warm, you could put it in the microwave and heat it up. That would be my choice. <laughs> um, you could pour a little bit of cream over top of this, you could pour a little bit more of eggnog as you serve it. Ooh. And a little bit of the eggnog in it would sort of amp up that, that um, creaminess to it. <laughs> no, I haven't seen the recipe. Is there a rum or sherry already in it? Um, there's a little bit of rum in it. Okay. I was just saying, you yep. could throw that on top you too. You could put that on top as well. So, let's give it a taste first. Before we add anything? Mm -hmm. That's true. We're adding things to something we haven't tasted. Never a good plan. I like that. It's definitely eggnog forward. Mm -hmm. The rum flavor's there, but it's nice and soft. Um, I wanted to maybe put whiskey in. Mm. But the that would egg, be my preference. But the eggnog that we bought oh. has rum in it already. Oh, so and I didn't want that conflict, so depending on what you buy for eggnog, you didn't make I, your eggnog from scratch? I did not make my what? eggnog. We have, I'll link to it below, a full recipe list of making eggnog from scratch, so you can check that out. And then there's the conflict of raisins versus non-raisins. Uh, I'm, I'm not on team raisins. <laughs> I'm on team raisins. I would put raisins in it. Because, mm -hmm. you know, rum and raisin. 
That would work. <laughs> it goes yeah. perfectly. You I mean, if, soak them in rum, toss them in. If you like raisins in your rice pudding. Which I do. Put them in. I probably should have put some in for Julie, but I didn't. No. <laughs> you never. <laughs> you usually only make things you like, so. <laughs> this is bias. And so this was, this was a cheat using leftover rice. Um, of course, you could cook the rice ahead of time and just put it in the fridge so that you make leftovers. There's so many ways to make yeah. uh, rice pudding. And it's really creamy, even though I didn't put an egg in because the egg is already in the egg eggnog. <laughs> yeah. Um, suggested by the name, yes. So, serving suggestions, a little bit of eggnog on top when you go to serve it. Mm -hmm. Maybe a grate of nutmeg when you go to serve it. Um, maybe a sprinkle of cinnamon when you go to serve it. And if you don't have... Doesn't you don't have you do one big pot. You just do one big pot and scoop it out. Family yeah. style. This is pretty good. I like this. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon. Okay.